crews working to clean up Baltimore as government officials are working as quickly as they can to reopen the port after last week's catastrophic bridge collapse. And now there appears to be a battle brewing on Capitol Hill over money to rebuild. Fox 31's Talia Cunningham continues to follow this story for us all new tonight at 9. Talia. Well, Erica, President Joe Biden is expected to visit Baltimore on Friday, specifically that crash site. But if you remember just last week, the president publicly stated that he wants the federal government to pay for the new bridge. So right now, experts are saying it could cost up to $1 billion to rebuild the Francis Scott Key Bridge. So that price tag is not sitting well with some Republicans who are now slamming the president for what they say is rushing to make that promise. This is stirring up yet another battle in Congress over the federal government's role. This is much money will come, as we know, from the emergency fund. However, that needs to be replenished annually. So now some conservatives are pushing back against Biden's proposal. Yeah, it was kind of outrageous immediately for Biden uh, to uh, express in this tragedy the idea that he's going to use federal funds to pay for the it in entirety. I mean, you know, he doesn't refer to it as the American taxpayer dollars on anything. You know, the first reaction, in fact, the only reaction just tends to be to spend. And so far, the Department of Transportation has allocated $60 million to get cleanup efforts started. This says two massive cranes are being used to lift tons of steel and debris out of the Baltimore Harbor. An alternative route for vessels also opened up today, but hundreds of ships are being rerouted and thousands of workers are unsure about their employment future. Maryland's governor talking about the dangers today. Every time someone goes in the water, they are taking a risk. Every time we move a piece of the structure, the situation could become even more dangerous. We have to move fast, but we cannot be careless. And meanwhile, community members put together this makeshift memorial right here. You see that construction vest. This is honoring the six construction workers that were killed. We know four still remain missing tonight, and the governor reiterating today in that speech that their main priority is to recover their bodies and give families closure. In studio, Talia Cunningham, Fox 31.